I'm really excited about what Working Preacher is doing in finding people who are Spanish speakers who are serving in Hispanic congregations in this country to write commentaries in Spanish for the gospel uh, readings and the lectionary. Our country is experiencing a rather significant change. Um, by 2025, Latinos and Latinas will be the largest minority population in this country, if not sooner. By 2050, Caucasians will no longer be the majority. They will be below 50%, and uh, Latinos, Latinas will be right around that same range. So in one generation, uh, this country will be rather different than it is right now. So what do we do about this? What, what, is, our, what is the church going to do? How is the church going to react to these demographic realities? I think there's at least three choices. One is that we see that as a threat to ourselves. Um, Samuel Huntington, who used to work at Harvard, who taught at Harvard, called the rise of Hispanic populations in the United States a threat, a threat to the very fabric of our Western European uh, culture. That The culture was going to change, and not just change, but be destroyed. That's one option. We see it as a threat. Another option is that we simply ignore it. That we continue to stay in our cocoons that feel ra- relatively safe. Um, and eventually, our churches will stop being vibrant. They will lose the vibrant change that we're seeing going on all around us. So I think there's a third alternative. is to see these demographic shifts as an opportunity. As an opportunity to fulfill the promise that God made to the church that the church would be a composition of people from many nations, from many peoples, speaking different languages. This might be controversial, but I'm, I'm becoming more and more convinced that the biblical vision of the church is not a colorblind church. That the aim, I think what God is doing right now, is not to create a church where color doesn't matter, where our differences don't matter, but where those differences are respected, where those differences are brought into the conversation about faith, where those uh, conversations are brought into the center of our worship. So that even if the people sitting to the left and to the right of us don't look like us, don't eat the same foods, uh, don't practice the same culture, that together we're Christians. And that we can create a new vision of a church worshiping together unified not by erasing our differences, not by making us all the same, but by embracing the fact that we're different. So I think this step by, of Working Preacher to start writing these commentaries in Spanish is an important step in that direction. Ultimately, my hope is that these commentaries, although written in Spanish, will not just be for Spanish-speaking um, people, uh, ministers who come to the website, but we'll eventually find ways we can translate it back into English, or we can have these active conversations that they not only inform the other, but also inform other people who speak English, looking for, for ways to proclaim the gospel faithfully in a world increasingly marked by ethnic diversity. It's not a threat. It's an opportunity for us to be the church that God wants us to be.